Thanks to you, we get to see what really happens when you fall off the islands. Where's Lucas? Do you see him anywhere below us? He should be down there. Oh, why, yes. The first thing I did after we both got kicked over the edge was look to see where your friend was. Hmm, I can't decide whether I want our death to be painless for my sake or excruciating for yours. Land! Impossible. That's impossible. Jesse? There! Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! Jesse? Holy crap, you're down here too? Lucas, you made it! Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Got me pretty good. I'm just so glad you're okay. When Aiden pitched you over the side, that was awful. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan either. <laughs> ah. That was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. Wow, so, guess you were wrong, huh? About there being no ground. I had no idea. How... How could I have known? <sighs> mm. This has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Well, land is gonna be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's gonna change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What... what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> First things first, we're gonna go back up there and kick Aiden's butt. Sounds like the start of a winning plan to me. Getting back up. My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. That's not a good sign. Aiden's made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't believe Aiden could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. Of course I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Issa. Okay, getting back up. Up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? Get ready to build something huge. Maybe the biggest thing of your life. What do you mean? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I... I think so. I, uh... I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. What? But it's dangerous alone! Monsters! Nightfall! I'll get some food, put together a shelter if it gets dark. It's not my first rodeo. There you go, buddy. 
Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, and give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Hey, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. We gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. Catch <laughs> you like that, huh? Blade Rod! <sighs> Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Give me a potion of speed. Here! Gotta go fast. <laughs> and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the Founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next! Aiden, you've lost! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the Founder with you? Ah! What the... Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just... die already! Should've left while you had the chance! You're 
ruined it! Listen to yourself, that's insane! Why couldn't you have left well enough alone? Stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses, it's about what's right. And that is why you're gonna lose! Punk Aiden, we heard the fighting. We fought and he fell down one of these waterfalls. You retrieved the Eversource. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse. The situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. I guess we could jump for it. The waterfalls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. Do you want to die? Because that's what's going to happen if you stay up here. Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? Jesse has done nothing but help us so far. 
I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. just so different and scary just take it slow okay you guys have been isolated for so long you you don't want to get overwhelmed by all this real world uh, uh, i wonder what happened to aiden hey cards check out what washed up right next to me uh freeze criminals you're not going anywhere now this is just speculation but Guessing they have some regrets. Knew they wouldn't get away. Oh, I bet the blaze rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah. Hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry. Got a little carried away there. Attention! Huh? Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow. Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves. Be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. That would be the case, but luckily you had me as your advanced scout. When I was on the ground with the Founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Cause I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. 
Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the ever source, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's head home. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Little Axel and Olivia here where we've been. They'll never believe it. Ed, that's not what I was expecting.